Hey, it's Phil Simon, author of Slack for Dummies. A question I get all the time is this, how many Slack channels do we need? Answer, 42. I'm kidding, I have no idea. Slack is an incredibly flexible tool. You can set up two channels, you can set up 200, two channels, anything in between, it doesn't really matter. This flexibility, I'd argue, is both a feature and a bug. In other words, there is no one right way to configure Slack. If your organization truly has a need for 42 separate channels, go ahead and set them up. I would caution you, however, if you're just getting started with Slack, you probably don't want to set up 87 right out of the box. You may confuse people. Remember, folks have been stuck in their inboxes for decades, possibly. That CC in email, what does it stand for? Hmm, carbon copy, as in carbon paper, as in printing stuff. Yeah, email's about 50 years old. Some people have been using it for 30 or 40 years. I'm not kidding. So getting people to adopt a new idea about channels and workspaces can be foreign to them. You don't want to overwhelm them. So to quote the great Walter White of Breaking Bad, that's right, I went there. Tread lightly. Just because you can set up 114 channels doesn't mean that you should. I'm hardly the first person to say that here. Let's go back to 1993 pop culture reference. Jurassic Park, Jeff Goldroom, Dr. Eagle, ah, Dr. Ian Malcolm. And packaged it and slapped it on a plastic lunchbox and now you're selling it. You want to sell it. Well, I, I don't think you're giving us our due credit. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. What he said!